And Jones dropped back to pass. Looks for his receiver, and that's Willis wide along the right side. Hopefully no penalty flag. The first two have been... Rolling out and drop. So second down. And Jones elects to run it and nowhere to go. I tell you, the theories, you may see it here as we move along. Pitches it over. Two receivers to the top of your screen. Wabert running back, flank to the right, and met for a loss by that previous play. Rolls out to the right on third and eight, tosses it up for Willis White. That right now, they are looking good. Their defense again coming through once more. Jones with a great opportunity. Now he decides to tuck and run it. He does so, wrangled up. Great field position as they're coming off their longest gain of the game. That eight yard carry in here. An injury, ankle injury. Jones trying to go down the sideline once more. He's been looking for that play all game. So third and 11, Jones double clutch, just 37 years young. As Jones overthrows his intended target. And, and Troy has really hurt themselves with some yellow laundry thus far early and early going. Thus far. And Troy is helping the cause for Alabama State. Son. <laughs> Man in motion. Jones surveying the field, trying to go deep and test the corners. And again, just off right in the second quarter, 10 minutes remain. Here's the deal. He's just two of eight, gain only two yards. However, He's kept the team in the game and sees of Brian Jenkins. He loves to sub in and mm -hmm. out of uh, multiple about third down situations. They've all been third and seven and greater. And here this one is third and nine. Jones trying to find someone does so. That was the first down from scrimmage for the Hornets. Bobbled snap. Jones picks it up and finds from the 46. And again, a little trouble with the snap this time. It's up in the air, put on the ground. And Kobe Jones will see if he delivers the snap well, does so. Has a man out. <laughs> Feel a little lucky here. And the handoff up the middle, and I think they've got it. Daryl. Jones. Play action, finds his man, and Williams was one of them, eight in total. It's Vic Koning playing a lot of freshmen. The fake handoff, and Jones. Boy, defense must be cognizant of. The pressure, big game, second and 17. There's Daryl King, he's got some room. And right there, that was thrown. Good morning to practice, all to help with that mental toughness and a, a spirit to core, if you will. And John, the coaching box. So in dangerous territory is Jones and Jones. So third down and forever, Kobe Jones. That was right leg, two to two and a half feet wide. We'll talk more about that after this play. Well, there's Daryl King and King, who has been a bruising run. And once again, here's King near first. One of those budding leaders for Vic Coning. Well, Brace Brown with seven interceptions, career six coming last year. He's really, really made a big off. From the shotgun. There he finds Willis White recently took this job after being at Troy since 2010 and the handoff to Daryl King excuse me Trey Dunbar used to be at Troy the quarterback's coach as Jones they have six in a box right now and just kind of defying him to throw the ball again being moved out the pocket Jones tucks and runs bull pace here now manageable pace 
And the co gets it out and King and that one is stripped away. There's Seth Calloway, big number 94. And feel has been, he's, he's had success as an offensive coordinator. And a new quarterback in as Daryl Pearson hands it off. And a athlete in two sports. In the high school, he was a very good athlete. Hand off again. King, five to go on the play clock. Got to get it off. Able to do so in time. Looks step back and pass. Finds King. King gets the first drive and, and pushes you back and eliminates a big play. So those are the kind of things you can't have. On the carry, we see a speedster coming off the right side. That's George. So that was the longest play from scrimmage for the Hornets. In trouble is Pearson and corner without without uh, Russell's efforts and maybe got it for a nice pickup. Just under 33% success rate. And Pearson has got to get rid of it and does keep in his own territory. And the Hornets just trying to. And up the middle. Oh, almost. Nine to go for the Hornets. And Pearson going for it all and overthrows his intended. Down there to now giving the, the opponent possession and keep a drive alive on a penalty. Otherwise. And at this point. I think Jenkins just wants to see as many guys get live action. The handoff. So just letting some time run off the clock. Deep into the play clock and not going. Just about five and a half to go here from Veterans Memorial Stadium. Pearson finds his man. See three wide receivers to the top of your screen. And that one is 10. So those things have to be eliminated. 20 penalties between them. And right there, bringing the pressure to. Good run up the middle. It's out to you on both sides. Firstly, with Alabama State's offense, what do they have to do to. Well, penalties get have, some juice. have really, really hurt them and, and some inconsistencies. Uh, you know, again, you got fresh, which is certainly enough to win a game. So, you know, solid offense and defense. Troy has to feel good about where they are. It'll be interesting how they come out of this game. Also, we didn't see many injuries, which is a, a big thing. This is a pretty physical game. Here, fourth and five in the waning moments under three minutes remaining. Devontae Kincaid, what a quarterback. He was a swag player of the year. And, wow, he's played lights out.